Ah, what a lovely white sauce. I think that's about as good as a white sauce can get. Flavored just right with coriander and thyme, which during the 80 year reign of Queen Victoria was known as the Queen Spice. Yeah, yeah, it's just like being in a time machine. That's right. right. Tell me about it. Ah, what a lovely bell. Look, just get the door, will you? Ah, lovely clear sound of a bell, reminiscent perhaps of Beethoven's walks through his beloved German countryside, the inspiration perhaps for his piano concerto number five, the Emperor Concerto. Ah, plant guy, you let yourself in. Yes, thank you, Jackie. How are you? I brought you a lovely Boston ah, salad. Ah, thank you. But you know, the doorbell reminds me further of the slower movement in the Emperor, the Adagio ah. in B major, which, of course, is a long way from an E flat. But it's used in the first part of the first movement with telling thoughts. Frank, are your friends so filled with their own classical gas that they don't care that I'm beaming 30 straight hours of bad movies from coast to coast? And that the Midwest... Yes, the Midwest is going to receive my next experiment, oh, Wild Rebels. Well, look out, Cleveland. Ah, Cleveland. Eugene Ormandy and the Cleveland Symphony Orchestra. Oh, yes. I think that's about as good as classical music can get. In the not-too-distant future, next Sunday, A.D., there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. Institute, just another face in a red job suit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss is feeling like a suit and shot him in the space. We'll send the cheesy movies, the worst we can find. We'll have to sit and watch them all, then we'll monitor his mind. Now keep in mind, Joe can't control. Welcome to the satellite of love. Gypsy's feeling kind of depressed today, you know. A lot of people don't realize this, but she has a lot of responsibilities on the ship. Yeah, like we don't have any. Yeah. Hey, now listen, you guys. You know, she's the one who keeps a lot of the higher system functions running on the ship so you guys can gallivant around, all right? That's why sometimes she's kind of hard to understand. Yeah, that's why she sounds like Mom's Mabley. <laughs> oh, that's great. Now listen, you guys. I'm going to have to ask Gypsy to shut down some of the higher functions she's been slaving so she can free up her mind and tell me what's bugging her, all right? Now, I need... Now I need you to, now would you guys look at me when I'm talking to you? Oh, All right, now I'm going to need you guys to finally do some work around here for a change, capiche? Commercial right. sign in 15 seconds. Now Tom Servo, I want you to go down to the maneuvering room and keep those heat shields pointed towards the sun. Crow, Roger. I need yeah. you to do uh, everything else, all right? And stay frosty, you two. Cool. Check, Commercial sign in 5, 4, 3, 2, commercial sign now. We'll be right back. Christmas is here, and every year you hear this song 12 jillion times. So here's a new tradition, the Saturday Night Live Mary Fawn. We've got the faces you remember. Well, isn't that special? <clears throat> On the 15th of December. Merry Christmas, damn it. It's a comedy tradition, the Saturday Night Live Mary Fawn. It's Christmas! Starting December 15th, all day and all night, here at Comedy Central. This is regular. This is better. This Bayer is regular, but for headaches, Anison is better. This is regular. This is better. This Bufferin is regular, but for headaches, Anison is better. What makes Anison better? It's simple. 
Regular Bayer and Bufferin have one ingredient for pain, but Anison has two ingredients, an effective pain medicine plus a second ingredient that makes Anison work better. For headache relief, get Anison. Get better. Remember when you had to be a rocket scientist to play the game of Trivial Pursuit? Not anymore. Now there's the Trivial Pursuit 80s edition. You remember the 80s. Sir, what residents ordered 12 tons of jelly beans during the 1980s? Well, the White House. Uh, who did Annie Sluggo babysit for? Oh, hey, Mr. Bill! The Trivial Pursuit 80s One, edition. Oh, Questions oh. anyone can answer. In 87, what mammal after dogs bit the most New Yorkers? Ah. Humans! The Trivial Pursuit 80s edition from Parker Brothers. He started out writing soap operas. Nah, too corny. Now, he's actually living one. How would you feel? John Candy is delirious. I love this. Coming December 18th on video cassette and laser disc. This is insane. Absolutely insane. Do you have a cold? Yes, I do. Here's two cold medicines. This relieves these three symptoms, this nine. Choose one. Nine. You chose Dristan cold over Sudafed. Try it. The Dristan really worked. Dristan, the face of relief today. Dustin Hoffman, Robin Williams, Julia Roberts, Bob Hoskins. Book, rated PG, starts Wednesday, December 11th. You're at Comedy Central. And so I guess I'm just feeling the old ennui, you know. It's nothing, I'm just a little depressed. Look, you're busy, we'll, we'll talk about this later. I'll reinitiate the astronic and photonic systems on my mark. Reinitiate. <laughs> oh, thanks, Gypsy. I'm really glad we could have this little talk. Richard Bezos! Right, Richard Bezos, that's right. Howdy, Captain. Hey, stud. You know, I had the nicest talk with Gypsy. She's really warm and wonderful person. Ah, uh, Joel, the scientists are calling. Yeah, I just feel like she's my new best friend. I can't even describe it. Well, don't try, because the scientists are calling. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, no, Joel, the button's over there. I'll get it. Huh? Oh, hello, Joel Arini Weenie. Is that funny, Frank? Have we used that one before? Uh, no. Well, Joel, it's time for the invention exchange. You may wonder why we're dressed this way. I wonder. Shut up. We're dressed this way because I've lost my train of thought, and don't you ever interrupt me when I'm on a roll again. We're dressed, we're dressed this, this way, way because, because of the... Of the... Anyway, Joel, as you know, children have long looked up to cowboys as role models, and vice versa. That's where we get the hobby horse from. But today, kids are looking for more sophisticated role models. Uh, what's that thing, Frank? Cuckoo kids looking for cuckoo kicks. Uh, uh, yeah, anyway. So what we've done, and since today's movie is kind of a biker movie, what we've done is we've taken the whole hobby horse concept, we've pared it down a bit, shot some paint on it, and what we have here is the, the hobby hog. Woo! That's right. It's for kids who want to get into concert security. But we haven't forgot the child. The saddlebags are filled with Zweibach and the tank's filled with Bosco. Kick it down, Mama Jama. Hey, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Uh, Kemba, could you bring it out a little bit? All right, there's nothing the fellas and me enjoy more than a big, juicy, sloppy pizza before we head on in for an experiment in, this, in the Mystery Science Theater. Anyway, this is a thing I invented. It kind of puts a high-tech spin on an old standard. It's the 3D pizza. I based it on the premise of the 3D chest from the old Star Trek show. It's even better with the 3D glasses on. I feel like I'm really here. Let's see, uh, pepperoni to anchovy level four. Wow. Yeah. And I've got you now, Mr. Bond. If you <laughs> got you. extra, you can take and ah. use this neat pizza lunchbox I invented and carry it right into the Mystery Science Theater. Joel, we'll that's on. a trash can lid. Oh. Oh, well, you can use it for that, too. What do you think, sir? I'm sorry, Joel, we couldn't hear you. Your experiment today is called Wild Rebels. It's a cool, swinging, heavy trip. What is that noise? It's just a, it's just a sound. I know, but you do it all the time. It's nothing, what really. What does it it's, mean? It's, it's, it's about me, isn't it? It's no. Oh, 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 oh,
I wish I could eat pizza, Joel. That looks good. Okay. Yeah. Steve Lamo, geez. <laughs> hey, Pastrano, my favorite sandwich. And the glaucoma players. Boy, I can hardly read this. How about you? There's no way we can read them all. Right? Uh, and here's the people with the really bad agents. Uh -huh. That's impossible. Gee. Catchy tune. Okay, is that better or worse? Well, that, that's a little better. Better one. Hmm. That's got to be better. Yeah. How about this? Uh, that's uh, worse, yeah. Better one, better two. Yeah. Better one. Okay, good. Comic picture is a real flash in the pan. Yeah, what's the extra E for? Well, it's for extra. <coughs> Fix me. I'll tell you later. Hmm. Trouble with the car? I'm here, Steve. Tough break, Rod. Oh. Man, it's not the word for it. I don't think this scene's over yet, Rod. Uh, yeah. There goes two years of saving. Well, you shouldn't two carry cash in work. the glove compartment, Rod. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Come on, Rod, you can build another super. What? Chewing gum and spit? Uh, no thanks. Oh, thanks, I just ate. By the way, who hey. are you anyway? I don't want to call it quits. Hey, Rod, it's all in the game. And who are you? Okay. Hmm. All right. Paint your house. How's my sandwich coming? Jeez, what a lousy day. What? What? What do you want from me? Down the trail of shame he goes. Hey, hop. Mm -hmm. Oh, dragon. comes the sermon on All the right, Grand Torino. Quick. Everybody. Uh, blessed are the grease monkeys, for they will lube. Hmm, what is it? Let's go over and see. Let's all wrap around here. Get in the shutter. Everybody. Let's get something you want. Hi, my name's Rod, and I'm a gasaholic. Hi, Rod. This is an official auction. I got a new trailer over hey, there. Nice guitar. Yeah. Late brand new tires and rims. What am I bid for? it? Hmm. Well, I'll take the get. Huh? Well, come on, don't be bashful. What am I bid? They're brand new. Come on down from there, Rod. You don't want to sell out. Oh, I made this movie, I didn't I? I've had it. All right, now. How about these Robert Culp Ice Five Pants? Thousand dollar rig, brand new. Hundred dollars. Oh. You sure you can afford it, man? Okay, I can't, dickweed. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's all right. I get it. How all about right, if I throw in dinner and a movie with me? Bucks. Twenty dollars. Oh, that's more like it. Two fifty. All right, 250. Do I hear three? 400. You don't have to go that high, Walt. It's worth more. 400. Because I love you. 425. Bless your stingy little heart. Dull. What does he mean by that? All right, uh, 475. Well, that tops me. You uh, sold it to yourself, Rod. What an idiot. Uh, do I hear five? 450. Mm. Do I hear five? Mm. Oh, now you're embarrassing them, Rod. Alienation. 475. All right, 450 once. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Poor stupid dope. 450 once. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Keep going. 450 for... twice. 450 three times a lady. <laughs> All right, sold to my good friend Walt Simpson for 450 United States dollars. Hmm. Oh, uh, hey, did I tell you I was bitten in pesos? Here's your dollar. Get off that Batmobile, creep. Look at that dent. Look at the body where they have to do on that now. Right. You bought it fair and square for $450, and that's all I'm going to take. That's all I'm going to give you. $450. Count it. I trust you, man. Sucker. 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 What are your plans? Get off this film. Well, I haven't got any. Man. I just shove off, man. Something shove off? You're too good oh, to I know what you're now. saying. Maybe. Well, there's my guitar, at least. Huh? Mm. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Well, buddy, take care of yourself. Here, let me out of here. I'm in the I'm having trouble with me in this bag. Please help me. Huh? God, fool. Hey. Oh, hi. Hi. Hey. 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 Hey.
Looks like some local color there. Yeah, white trash. Yeah, those guys are marked clearly as poison. Don't eat them. If you take these bikers internally, do not induce vomiting. Now, the movie will do that for you. <laughs> like an epicac. An epo? Oh, that Genesis album? Hey, Tommy Lasorda. Uh, thanks for the ride, Mr. Lasorda. Now, remember, just one delicious shake in the morning and lunch and a sensible yeah, meal. Yeah, whatever. After. Thanks for the ride. Hey, good luck with the football team or whatever it is you do. Thanks for the ride, man. You're in a scram. Thank you. Huh. Hmm. That's pretty hmm. Hmm. Open, kind of an open concept place. Oh, what is that? <laughs> kind of funny. Oh, nice. looking... well, this one looks like it's made out of rubber. Huh? What what do you know? I figure. What's this over here? Oh, it looks like it says, uh, kiss me, I'm Irish. Huh. Who'd know? Oh, would you just get in the door, please? It's kind of like the backyard of the Brady Bunch house. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Hey, good Jeez. thing we got a wide Ooh. screen. <laughs> Ronald McDonald shaking his McBooty. Woohoo! Uh, yeah, I wonder what they're making two, butts out of this year. One, two, cha cha cha. One, two, cha cha cha. One, two, cha cha cha. Hmm. Well, I'm not too sure, but it's possible I just might be a little too hip for this room. <laughs> Let's just see. I got it. Wild Rebels cha cha. Hey, look, they turned the flying sub from the voyage to the bottom of the sea show into a bar. Richard Ah, uh, no, Gypsy. Uh-uh. Sorry. No, sorry. Hey, Poor there, girl. All right. Just come to town? Just passing through some beautiful guitar you got. Can you play blues? Oh, just because I'm white, you think I can play the blues. Nice. What do you have? Mm. Let me have a beer. Okay. What kind? Cold. Now, remind me to hit you later. What are those three guys doing anyway? Oh, it's kind of yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Where'd she come from? Oh. Sorry, it got warm as I brought it over. Okay? Jerk. Gita. Gita. Take the cat at the bar. Mm -hmm. The one with the git fiddle. Hmm. Bring around the collar. Hmm. I really like you, but we could never wash our clothes in the same line. Hi, handsome. Say, has he got leprosy or something? No, no. He looks familiar, real familiar. Yeah, he was in the first part of the hey, film. Facts. Okay. Would you believe? Banjo's in love. <laughs> okay, would you believe? Mildly infatuated. How about a schoolboy crush? Let's try dancing first. Mm. Hey, keep my beer cold, huh? Would you like a little pants with your belt? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from England, the Femtone. Nice haircut. Huh? Nice vest. My lunch goes there. Brother Joel, is this cat being a caper all over again? I don't think so, but it's the same spirit. Yeah. I know I'll do. I know Hey, ladies and gentlemen, please, for your viewing enjoyment, concentrate on the woman. Yeah, try not to listen to the music. Don't look at him, whatever you do. Okay, I can get you Bob Denver. Uh, as a romantic lead, I just don't see it. No, really, I uh, know the Gilligan's Island thing typecast him, but you should see him dance. No, oh, you're always trying to point off your husband TV talent on me. Hold it, I got Bill Bixby on line one. <laughs> the press agent sketch, ladies and gentlemen. We're working on it. Nice, nice job, guys. Can I do it? I know I can. Oh. And I will. I will. I will. I will kill you. I will kill you. Hey, how do those guys do that? How do they fade like that? Amazing. 
Hey, are you guys wearing tough skins? Hi, Tom Servo here from Mystery Science Theater 3000, and hey, you're watching Turkey Day here at Comedy Central. Enjoy. <laughs> Come on. Well, at once a week we go to a post office box in Hopkins, pick up usually around 200 letters. We get a lot of fan mail. I think it was Emilio Estevez's secretary wrote and said that Emilio's a fan of the show, or called and said so. So I know Emilio's out there, and hey. Uh, no one's uh, done anything very strange. Uh, someone sent teeth through the mail. We don't recommend that. We have we have 13-year-old you know, girls who are in love with Joel. You know, Joel gets a lot of love letters from, from women, and uh, those are always interesting. I don't really get love letters. I mean, a few, but... <laughs> Very, just good, solid American citizens with a lot of time on their hands. Something for the lady? Uh, yes, just a beer, that's all. Yeah? Oh, cool. Hey, I got it, I got it. You know what that is? Well, I'm breathless. Pray tell who. That's Rod Tillman, man. The hottest of Detroit Iron Boys. Oh, a teamster. We'll push it behind that wheel. Stock car driver, huh? Mm -hmm. How interesting. But stupid. Go hit on him. Aren't these places phony? Oh, I don't usually come here, but... Sweetheart, go powder your nose. Hi, Hi, Pardon? You heard the man, baby. Blow! Right, you want me to blow or do you want me to powder my nose? You don't let these creeps talk to me this way. Uh, yeah. Look, I don't know what's going on, but I don't like it. Hmm. Sweetheart, crawl back into the woodwork where the rest of you are. I don't want to have to mess up that pretty little face. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, you're still talking to her. Oh, this must be taken on the new crotch cam. Tillman, I presume. Yes, Dr. Stanley. What's the name? Well, uh, we are avid fans of yours. We you like your early funny stuff. Race. Thanks. It was fun while it lasted. Oh? Do I uh, detect the note of resentment in that statement? Do I detect the note of resentment in that do. statement? You were hot, baby. What happened? Chicken begin to cackle? Leave my chicken out of this. No, man, the bread ran out. Oh, so Mr. I couldn't Joe bread man. the chicken. Mr. Tillman, Banjo meant no offense. Didn't sound that way to me. Didn't Mr. smell that way Joe either. The name is Rod. Oh, of course, of course. Grr. Rod. I'm Jeter. The fast Your land animal. friend over here is Banjo. He came from Alabama on and my, my knee. my gregarious follower over here is Fats. That's self-explanatory. this is... Hello, Betty. Or I should say, that is Linda. Cool it. Cool it, man. Cool it. He's not worth it. No. Where was I? I think you were stinking up the joint. What are you uh, doing around here? Well, why is it concerned with that? Uh, All right, take two. Where are you staying? Nowhere is it not. Motel 6? Well, then, uh... May I give you an invitation to share our humble chateau? Your it's hat? It's not very much, but it's uh, what we call home. What you call home, Rambo so. calls hell. My invitation was by no means extended without uh, reason. You see, I have a business proposition to offer you, hmm. which could mean a lot of bread, and uh, an unlimited expense account could be yours. That means security for you Sounds and your well. loved ones. Go ahead. I'm listening. <laughs> This is not the place nor the time. Please accept my invitation to share our humble pad. Uh, and what, I will, uh, now, is it your pad or your hat? There. Okay. Uh, will I have to sleep with the stinky Fine, guy? Uh, Fine. Linda, baby, come here. You rang. <laughs> baby, I want you to meet Rod Tillman. Rod, say hello to Linda. You'll be playing the first round together. Your category is World Hi. Geography. Listen, baby, take my bike and ride right out to our chateau. 
He's going to be spending a little time with us. Sure, Jeter. Mm. Hey, what gives? Well, aren't you going with us? We have uh, a little unfinished business to attend to. Yeah, they got to go past the LaBianca we'll place. <laughs> Hey, you play that as well as he does. Nice guitar. Not. Uh -huh. Hey, Rod, let me out of the suitcase, please. God's sake, let me out. Oh, I love meeting new people. Hey, it's Jason on the action cam. Yeah, hop on, baby. We can go. Wango! Satingo! <laughs> You know, we gotta find a way to sew up the copyright on those Hell's Angels logos. These are going nowhere. I think we ought to teach those college creeps a lesson. Physics Three. or trig? No, semantical philosophy, but hey. Oh. oh, metal shop. <laughs> hey, hey, don't let them know we got beer, okay? Be cool. No, kill the band. Yeah. Hey, creep. Uh, it's Brandon. You talking to me? You and your friends are the only creeps in this joint. This is dead. What's going on? You enjoy your dance with our little mama? That was oh, your so mom? Look, I, I just dance with her. There's no harm done. Hey, you know, Dave. Hello, Mama's like a virgin goddess. Well, sorta. And no creeps. No creeps are allowed to touch her. Only union members and their families. Hey, these cats are really way out, aren't they? Uh, look, they're fellas, totally I just bloggers. Forget it and uh, blow. <laughs> you know, like I said, there's no harm done. Oh, baby. There's no harm done. None physically. Until now. Ooh. Check, please. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's never a waitress around when you need one. Oh, gentlemen, you're not gonna tip them now. <laughs> oh, shiny object. I like it. <laughs> ah, let's savor the moment. Are you gentlemen ready for the road? <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, anything you say. Uh, uh, do we tip 15 or 20 percent on a rumble? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you, oh, somebody help him. Lead the way. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 Man, did you see how oh, I comped him? <laughs> I like my job oh, too much. I know. Oh, That's the thing about a job like this. I never think I have to go to work tomorrow. I just love it that much. Uh, did we remember to punch out? I, I can't remember. Oh, life. Uh, artsy, craftsy. Wow, look at all those books up there. Yeah, Leaves of Grass. Trump, The Art of the Deal. Mine Comes. The Essays of Pap Buchanan. Hmm. Bright lights bug me. Yeah. This makes everything much more So crazy. how long have you been working on the David Dukes campaign, honey? Whoa, those trees are loud. Oh, yikes. Ah. Wow, it sure is dark out, isn't it? Two roads diverged into a yellow wood, and sorry I could not take my hog down both and be one traveler long I stood. You've beat the stuffing out of three preppies and given away the girl, but before the day is through, you'll take enough drugs to kill a horse. Now it's Miller time. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Guys, it doesn't get any stupider than this. Yow. Boy, you know, it's really dark. Really dark. Yeah. Boy, is it yeah. dark. Very pitch dark. black out here. Can't see a thing. They, uh, they got their sunglasses Must be on. a new moon. I don't know. It's so dark. Very bright yeah. for darkness. Mm. 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 Oh, boy, you taste like Joseph Gables. Those three bosom buddies of yours do here any minute. I want this place lit up like Broadway. They say the neon lights are brighter on Broadway. Fantastic. Mm. Mm. Three on one is not much fun, says you. Yes. 
Orange cappuccino, Swiss mocha. Ah. Celebrate the moments of your life with General Foods International Ripple. <laughs> uh, we better split, guys. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, for fun. <laughs> Gosh, Joel, that biker guy sure is sleazy, but boy, what a vocabulary. Yeah, he's quite eloquent for a piece of low-life scum. Oh, well, you guys might be surprised to find out that a lot of the great thinkers of this century actually rode in motorcycle gangs. In fact, I've got a few drawings. Oh, don't tell me. You've prepared a presentation using artist rendering. Right. You know, you read me like a book, and anybody who reads a lot of books will know who the Algonquin Roundtable was. Oh, of course. Uh, Alexander Walcott, George S. Kaufman, Robert mm. Benchley, Dorothy Parker. Right. All right, well, yeah. I've got this drawing here. Bring it in a little bit, Cambot. Yeah. Here's oh. the group, here's their gang. It's called Satan Sardonyx. Now, these guys terrorized the whole East Coast until one day they were unexpectedly wiped out in a rumble with the cast of What's My Line? Wow, I guess that Bennett Surf is tougher than people thought. Yeah. Now, when you think of a tough, macho writer who writes in a tense, hard-boiled style, who do you think of? Uh, Truman Capote? Exactly. Wow. See, his gang, Oscar's Wild Ones, they were leather boys, were all a rage until Norman Mailer's gang, Hell's Egos, mixed it up with Gore Vidal's gang, the Vital Sassoons. Boy, sounds pretty messy. If they don't look good, we don't look good. <laughs> yeah, there was gel and moose for miles around. The carnage didn't end until they all joined forces and finally beat up. Dick Cavill. All right. yeah. Well, at least we know all that's in the past now. Oh, no, are you kidding? The intelligentsia is duking it out on Harley's more even now. Yeah, sure, check it out. Here's Ted Koppel's gang right there. They're called the Bloods. Yeah, he's finally their toughest of them all because they're riding with Stephen Hawkins now. They beat Bill Moyer's gang, Moyer's Marauders, even though Bill rode with Joseph Campbell. Everyone thought Joseph Campbell was tough, but that was just a myth. <laughs> Joel, I hope you always let us ride in your gang. Sure, no problem, just so long as you don't mess with my old lady. Oh, fight us off with a stick, Joel. <laughs> Oh, that's just great. Crow, you know she's a Crow, you know she's especially sensitive right now. I'm she's sorry. Dickweed. Dickweed. Hey, hi, I'm Joel Robinson. You're watching Turkey Day. Special Thanksgiving Day special that's really special. Here at Comedy Central, we told you comics only is a talk show. We lie. It's stand-ups doing comedy. They just happen to be sitting down. I actually sent away for a mail order. Oh wow! So, they, so you see, there really are a lot of brilliant bikers. Yeah, That's amazing. Like these guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel a little bit uncomfortable, but I need to network. Mm -hmm. Nothing like a little vino to soothe the palate after a dusty road. <laughs> and the wine is good too, sir. Uh, who's got to use the helmet? <laughs> hey, baby. Uh, you remember that little college banana you were dancing with? Yeah, well, now he's a banana split with well, nuts on top. <laughs> He's missing his face. <laughs> he's missing his face. Now, man, such talk would upset our guests. Ah, room temperature. We want nothing but pleasantries. Who the hell are you, Foster? Look, let's cut out all these formalities and lay the chips on the table. What's happening? I love you. <laughs> huh? I like this guy. I really like him. Too square, baby, a real square. Look, you just keep trying to put that square peg in a round hole and everything will be fine. Gentlemen, what do you mean peace. by that? Peace. If we're to be one big happy family, we must live in tranquility. I love it when he talks this way. Okay, Jeter. What do you want from me? Sit down, Rod. Relax. Set a spell. Take your shoes off. As you 
you might have surmised my happy little group here is from California. Uh, Stanford, right? We're strangers to this southern countryside. We need a guy, a chauffeur, if you will, to drive us around this countryside ever so swiftly. It smells. I told you it's bad uh, news. You're the stinky guy, news. right? Let Jeter finish his epilogue. Well, it's more of a monologue, really. You're right, Rod. We're bad. Bad, bad people. Now, does he mean bad, bad, or good, bad? Do all sorts Sin bad. of evil things. <laughs> We're opening our own SNL. Real kicks. Yeah, Lucky Charms. And honeycomb. They're very lucrative. Thanks, but uh, no thanks. Hey, let the man finish. There's a whole number he does at the end. We need you, man. Join us. We need you real bad. Oh, we're good on bikes, but uh, cars are a different tale. Apparently, they have more wheels on them or something like that. The newspapers told a story how you got wiped out. Uh, it's not out yet, but I'm heavily connected. Uh, stocks for someone else? You get peanuts. Yeah, but junk bonds, now, they're a different story. One flame out, and that's it. With us, a couple of drives... And it's Moneysville for a, a lifetime. Plus good benefits, medical, dental, 401k. Hmm. Yeah, I could see in the future with at least four chains on your right shoulder alone. Wow. Hey, there's no smoking in okay, here. What do you got in mind? An armored car. An armored dillo. <laughs> Just like the Roaring Twenties. Only uh, no many years fancy later. James Bond stuff. Yeah. No secret agent jazz. Just plain old-fashioned guts. You know, like Dillinger, Pretty Boy Floyd, Michael Milken, Leona Helmsley, you know. Now, what if I refuse? Well, you get to keep the girl as our gift to you. I love kicks, baby. More kicks than I've ever dreamed of. So that would be about four? Hmm. One question, what's with fat boy? Oh, he's got a thyroid condition. He can't help us. Big kahuna of the surfing pack. And then uh, one day he got wiped out. The board caught him in the back of the head. He ain't never talked since. Oh, the brains of the operation. We love him just the same. But uh, he can't love us back. Don't we, fans? Oh, we shouldn't so have then, that cob salad. Ooh, you gonna join us? We're a fun group. Join us. <laughs> Sorry, friends. But I like these clothes, and I'm not about to exchange them for a suit of stripes. Oh, but if Foreman and Clark, you can get a second Easy, suit for just a Banjo. dollar. Easy, baby. Banjo, detune your G-string, baby. Look, Rod. He hasn't been the same since the, the Andy Pretty Dirt no. Band broke up. Uh, Why all of picking other brains? Well, I'm starting my Let's own company. I wanted to find out if your offer was legit or not. You gonna let him get away with this? No, you sure it wasn't Banjo that got the board no. in the back of the head? No, he was caught for six hours in a transverse I'm act. A very patient man. But I hate bank lines. They bug me. Well, if, uh, if that's all, I guess I'll be going. <clears throat> well, I had a great time. You'll have to come to my shotgun shack sometime. Uh, take care of your head injuries, guys. Let's exchange cards. Contact my people. Benjo, baby, where's your manners? The man wants to go. Let him. Please, baby. I'll Let cut your guitar, time. man. I will. I'll cut your new sound hole, man. He can go. Uh, well, uh, thank you, then. It's uh, been a pleasure. <laughs> oh. Well, let me just say, I wish your business the best, and uh, thanks for all the wine and the use of your chick and everything. That's, uh, that, that's the closet. I hate these curtains, man. Why'd you let this guy get away? You let him in on us. Rub it a hoo I said pull it. What is this, the McLaughlin Group? Our intentions, not our plans. He'll be back. Got his keys. Just give him a month. No. Two weeks. When he gets hungry, 
he'll be back. Hungry and artsy, craftsy. Damn, what was I thinking? I'll never get a second interview. I should send them a thank you letter, though. Note to myself, never negotiate with bikers hopped up on goofballs. It's showtime. Hold it right there. We've got Take move synthesizers. We could kill Put you from here. Real slow. Now raise your hand. Now play a G augmenter. Pat him down. He's probably packing a capo. Here? He's clean, Lieutenant. We're booking you for impersonating Trini Lopez. What's your name, kid? They call me Mr. Tibbs. Tillman. Rod Tillman. What are you doing up in that cabin? Oh, networking. You know, met some characters at a dance and they asked me to come up, so I went. Why'd you leave? Lousy benefits. We didn't see eye to eye in a few things. And if they jumped off a bridge, would you? What'd they want? Do you mind if I put my hands down? No, that's all right. Put them down. Now put them back oh, up again. <laughs> didn't see Simon Says. Woo! Hey, nice caboose. Mm -hmm. So, what do you want to hear? Melancholy baby? Canadian I'll have some sunset? coffee. Yeah, that sounds good. Hmm. Bavarian mint? You can keep the mug. I'll continue. What did they want you for? Uh, got any of those little finger sandwiches? I'm starved. I should say an ex stock car driver. And it seems that they needed a wheelman. Hmm. They're smart. Real smart. Yep. Smart. They know we can spot those motorcycles before a robbery, so now they're going to switch to a car. Yeah, cars are harder to see. If you know they're stealing, why don't you arrest them? Ah, we have. Hmm. No witnesses, no evidence. No jail, yeah, no hold. handcuffs, nothing. How come? Well, as I say, uh, they're smart. They get rid of their guns after each job. Oh, look, they're just really they're smart, okay? They certainly Shit. don't live big. It's almost as though they're smart. robbing just for the thrill of it. Kicks. Hmm? Only for kicks. What'd you say? It's you a did. cereal, man. Really they're good. They're only in it for kicks. Do you think you could gain that confidence? Look, you're not a real cop, are you? Let's say that we didn't leave the best of friends. Did they seem... Uh, Smart? Disappointed when you wouldn't drive for them? Ah, uh, they're really close to the breast. Yeah, I think they needed me real bad. They cried. Mm. Look, Rod, I got a plan. Now, if it works out, would you be willing to work for us, work for the police? <laughs> if you'd have me. It's called Operation Weasel Snitch. Maybe. Tell me more. Forget dinner, man. Keep watching Turkey Day here at Comedy Central. Wild Rebels! I love turkeys like a virgin goddess. You and your friends are the only creatures of this place. Square punch me! Really punch me! Sorry. Larry Zonka. Three straight Super Bowls. After that, he went to sea. Sports personalities, as well as our own team of sports instructors, help host Norwegian Cruise Line cruises. <laughs> No other cruise line has such an all-star lineup. Norwegian Cruise Line, the best vacation you've ever had. Plus, contact with someone like number 39, Larry Zonka. Cheddar cheese. It turns tortilla chips into hot, delicious nachos. But take away the cheddar. Hey, bring that back. And you're stuck with plain tortilla chips. No way, Jose. So pile on the cheddar. All right. Because tasty cheddar makes everything yeah. better. Who took the missing pet? The clues are right here in the Clue Junior game. Who, where, and which pet was napped? Georgie Green has a kitty in the Wix store. Case closed. The Clue Junior game. Listen. Listen to the sound of a whole other world. In apple cinnamon Cheerios. Hey! Real apples. Whole grain oats and cinnamon make every O taste as good as it sounds. Listen to the sound of a whole other O. Apple cinnamon Cheerios. Listen. Generations. To be part of one is much more than the simple matter of your birthday. It's to be part of an era. It's to have fallen in love to a rock band and not a big band or to have played ball with an aluminum bat instead of a wooden one. It's to have done things as no other generation would. 
and yet it's also to share one idea with all of them. For every generation, there's a gap. Lieutenant, you have lovely feet. It's Joe Namath. Uh-oh. No. Oh, uh, no. It's Marsha Brady, all grown up and back from college. Yeah, she's wearing her man's Van Heusen. And he's wearing a beer. Mm. Oh, yikes. It looks like Banjo exploded. There's biker shrapnel everywhere. Ooh, whoa. Uh, five minutes, Mr. Manson. No, no, Mommy, not the clown suit. Well, I'm glad to see someone's getting a jump on the day. Ah, uh, let's take a look here. Uh, hmm. Anaconda's up three and a half. American Can down a point. Oh, look at this. Zach Norman is Sammy and Chief Zabu. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, that's better. Boss Vaughn. Mm -hmm. That's right, Fatty. Seize the day. Carpe diem. Bodin! Everybody back! Everybody get up and 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 the lock orange Way wife burns at dinner, husband gets drunk, I've seen it. How interesting. Yeah, let me see here. It's a, oh, I forgot I can't read. Bye, we'll get your tiny chickens out. You I'll just take... lost ten. Are we going to the races? Oh. No, we're going to Disneyland. We're going to the races. I wouldn't miss that for anything. Unless I die. <laughs> But first, let's look at some footage from some of the great races of yesteryear. This 1951 race... ...triggered a series of spins. The cars attempt to weave their way through the pack. All oh, one car lost a wheel in what appears to be a survival of the fittest. But is really not. Whoa! Hey, the wheel's winning! <laughs> Get back on the track! Where are they going? Car number one is over the wall. That's Buck Sheverton over the east wall. But it's far too expensive to show us. Like Buck is pinned in his car. It appears it will take a torch to free Buck Shepherd. Or a really good uh, pair of scissors, or maybe one of those hog head droppers they use in the uh, meatpacking industry. That announcer's really smart. A uh, few nose donuts. <laughs> hey, what are you looking at, jerk? Huh? Kids are just too damn smart these days. Wait. Hi, Rod. Remember, you're undercover. Don't talk to anybody. Shh. Everything okay? Everything's ready, Lieutenant. Don't call me that. Good. Rod's been free. And we pantsed him. Make it look good, Dutch. We'll do it. Good luck. Forget I ever met you. I love you. A nice caboose there, huh? Oh, he's smart, too. I don't like this place. Give me the willies. Hey, look, it's Mount Rushmore. Hmm. Mount Trashmore. After a brief retirement, Rod Tillman returns here to the Speedway in a new number 57. Oh, Blue Eyes to see is if back. He can regain that old form. Many racing fans will remember how Rod nearly escaped death with that Give me that. Oh, that's that not nice. And burned just a few months hey, ago. don't say hi. Jeez. Well, the driver is missing or he's gone. Bubblehead. Yeah, new, two Nobel Prize winners and a Pulitzer. Are you now ready for the start of this 100-mile main event? Hey, wait until he says go. Oh boy. Well, the starter is ready, and off they go now on that warm-up lap, getting into place. And off they go. All speed records should be shattered today. Along with a couple of knees, some femurs, and some skulls too. Hey, you got a little 
little thing on uh, your right there, uh, uh, well, that's yeah. about it. Whoa, what happened? That looks like they're shooting tungsten out there. Uh-huh. It's the green cam. For those of you watching at home, we have no idea what the hell is going on. It's an average day out here on the A1A, going up the coast to Cocoa Beach. Raising in the grass is a gas, baby, can you dig it? So, whose girl is she today? Well, looks like Banjo's. Guard of a 57 rod tone is still having a rough time out there on the dirt. Boys are flooding Unfortunately, he's all right. Hey, did anybody see that Tom Cruise film this summer? Uh, no. no. Eat it, boy, eat it. <laughs> well. Uh, oh. Oh. I have the worst luck. Boy. Get out of there. Come on. Quick, it's going to blow. Go. Come on. Take my hand. How fortunate. This will simplify everything. <laughs> Hot car in the old rod tonight. That was fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a day. I love it. Oh, yeah, crown me fool. Crown me fool. Everybody line up and take a big <coughs> seat. Uh, thank you, sir. Merry Christmas. So. Gee, Wally. Tough luck, baby. It's Dondi. Yeah. Yeah, tough luck. What are you guys doing here, anyway? We thought maybe you'd like to, uh... Reconsider. Uh-uh, no way I'm gonna be in a dumb biker film. Later. Look, I've had racing up to here. I'm sick and tired of every grease monkey who can climb behind a wheel running me over. Is your, uh, offer still open? I think something can be worked out. Fatty, get the surfboard. We'll get you on like, medical uh, and dental right away. Let's split, man. Okay, I'm with you. I think they're talking about his head. Mm -hmm. yeah, you got to go. scram now. Yeah, give a hoot, don't pollute. Can't watch that. Boy, Looks like sweat. they fell for it. For Rod's sake, I hope so. Ah, you're watching Turkey Day at Comedy Central. Turkey fact number 12. If you leave turkeys out in the rain, they'll drown. Stupid jerks. Tomorrow, Comedy Central gives this man three hours to come to grips with his lousy self-image. I told my old man never took me to the zoo. He said, if they want you, they'll come and get you. It's No Respect Friday, three hours of Rodney Dangerfield sharing his hang-ups with a bunch of really famous guest stars. Oh, my wife took a driver's test. She was happy. She's got 18 out of 20. Yeah, two guys jumped out of the way. Only Comedy Central would give this much airtime to a guy like Rodney. At last week, I told my wife, a man is like wine. He gets better with age. She locked me in a cellar. Watch No Respect Friday, three hours of Rodney Dangerfield tomorrow afternoon, beginning at 1 here at Comedy Central. Come on, everybody, sing along. Home alone, home alone, you trick them every way. All the fun it is to see two burgers get found Home Alone, the Christmas gift of the year. $24.98 or $5 less with Pepsi rebate. Now, wasn't that fun? Rated PG. How long will the flavor of carefree sugarless bubble gum last? How long? So these guys sing for themselves. Carefree sugarless bubble gum. The flavor lasts. When you work in a doctor's office during cold season, you're going to get a cold. And I've got a butte. Hard to tell? That's because I took this. Advil cold and sinus. 
from the makers of Advil. It's tough on colds, like Advil is on pain. Get you through congestion, fever, a bad sore throat. <laughs> Believe me. <coughs> I know. Advil Cold and Sinus, advanced formula for the cold season. We'll be right back after this important message. Let's go. Get the box. You ready? Cue. Hey, kids! We're wild rebels, crunchy, fruity rebels, pouring milk on them is like shooting off a gun. It's Wild Rebel cereal, the nutritious cereal. It's like getting hit in the back of the head with a surfboard of flavor. Look, marshmallow fatties, sugary Lindas. I got tangy, twangy banjos. Crunchy oat rods. And Jeter's, too. Die, Jeter, die. Kids, what are you doing in there? Having, Having a, a good, good breakfast, breakfast, Mom. Pour out the milk. One, two, one, two, three, four. Wow. Punching, crunchy rebels. Don't bust your teeth on something sweet and hot. Wild Rebel syrup, part of this complete breakfast. Hey, there's a cheap surprise inside. I got a gun. I got a sawed-off pool cue with a leather strap. I got a chunk of hose filled with lead shot. All right, let's take it home. They won't get soft or squishy. Better eat them while you're a sissy. Just pound them down, you stupid clown. They're wild. Wild Rebel cereal, just eat them. Fruity cookie pebbles. Mm -hmm. Nutty. Mm. Hey, they're going to the Turd Museum. Wow. World's it's largest. World's largest. Yep. Ride them. Remember, baby, don't signal us until he's very by. Don't we sweat don't... it. I know what to what, do. What, does she have a babysitting job? They're going to knock over a preschool? <laughs> Jeez. He's so strong. I love it. Ooh. Hey, whoa, hey, 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 the car's moving. Oh. Hi, welcome to the 12th century. Is this Bruce Wayne's house? Oh. Say, he's not bad. Hmm. Oh, oh, that's me. Oh, excuse me. Are you robbing a bait shop? Mm. Winchester 408, 200 grain bullet with 2,400 feet per second muzzle velocity and an incredibly frat trajectory. Mm. High powered rifle. Light. Mm. Neat. Good. Oh, cool. This supposed to be where the South bought all the stuff for the Civil War. And the Spanish American War and the War of 1812. Oh, Paul, have you ever robbed a bait shop? Uh, I don't think so, Dave. <laughs> Good morning. May I help you? Oh, my, yes, you may. We've been bothered by prowlers lately, mm. and with my husband out of town, I feel <laughs> I should have Nothing like the wily charms of an attractive woman wise. to get an old man off with his With all the unsavory people in the world today, you need protection. Yes, yes, yes. What kind oh, of a gun yes. did you have in mind? Oh. Oh. I'm going to leave that 100% up to you. Wow, check well, out the see. Ray Kroc death mask up there. Ooh. Here's one. I don't know, this is the one that Ruby used to shoot Oswald. This Oswell. is a very popular model, what's the lady? Oh, if you recommend it, I'm sure it will suit my purpose. <sighs> Can you show me how it works? Surely. Oh, okay, First, stand against that you wall. you insert the clip like this. Thrusting then it you pull manfully back the slide into the chamber. Like this. Yes. See, this puts a bullet up in the chamber. Then all you have to do is pull the trigger. Here, you try it. Try it on and me. And remember, this is the safety. Oh. See now. Uh, mm -hmm. You put on the safety, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then pull the trigger. Wrong. No, first you put in the clip. Oh, Ooh. first the clip. See. Oh, you're putting it in backwards. Let me help you. Oh, I see. Oh, oh wow. What is this, a shed spread commercial? I'll take it. That'll be $79.95 plus tax. I'll need some bullets. Mm. Oh, this is my rifle. This is my gun. One is for retail, the other is for fun. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. She likes me. She likes me. She's buying it. Oh, don't screw it up. Okay, calm. calm. <laughs> She's <Yeah>. buying it. <laughs> I'll throw these in as a gift from the house. Oh, and you get the sneaker nice. phone, too. Would you mind loading the gun for me? Oh, oh. how stupid of me. Oh. 
Very interesting. Oh, come! Relax. Schultz. She's a born actress. She's no street. She's performing. There we are. Always remember to keep the safety on. And if you can't remember, name it after me. <laughs> a little gunshot joke. <laughs> Let me get you a nice box to wrap that in. <clears throat> Bro. Uh, I'd like to return these bullets to their original owner. <laughs> First rule of gun safety, you never point a gun at anyone. Not even if you're going to rob them. <laughs> no, not even if you're going huh? I beg your pardon. Just do what I tell you, and you'll live to tell your wife this shocking experience. Now, just a minute. <coughs> Sounds like she shot him with a staple gun. Hmm. Mandro, quit playing yourself. Come on. Man, I wish these clowns would learn to wash. They always play the radio too loud, too. I'll, uh, I'll just wait here then, huh? Hey, it looks like Michael Caine and Zulu Dawn. Hmm. He's gonna make us righteous, man. Look at it. Yeah, oh, 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 <laughs> Phillips watches Benny Hill buys a gun. I love you. I really love you. Yep. Uh, they do have bullets there. Hey, what do you got? It's called a gun, dear. <laughs> You know, I think he's funnier than Benny Hill. Yep. <laughs> Definitely. Blue light special on chromosomes. Extra ones. <laughs> come on, let's go! <laughs> okay, come on, let's get it. Come on, we can't play the old Not the hat, it makes you look stupid. Come on, let's go! Come on, let's go! Come on, baby, let's go! Come on, ten items or less, let's go. Well, at least they're not concealed weapons. Yeah. They'd get in trouble for that. Mandro, Fats, get some ammunition. How are they going to remember what kind of guns they got? This is the movie's crow. Bullets are bullets. Oh. Just relax, baby. It'll only be a minute. We need bullets. We need bullets. How are we going to kill anybody without them, huh? How are we going to uh, kill them? Kind of a pre-shooting shopping spree. Looks like. Lunch. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> red ones and red ones and the red ones and what? <laughs> Carl, you're tipsy. It's Turkey Day here at Comedy Central. Go, you've only got five. Go, forget it. With this blindfold on, tell me what you smell. I can't smell anything. Did you put it up there yet? It's stuffed up so far into my nose, I just can't blow it out. I just want to be able to breathe. Would you try Dristan 12 hour nasal spray? With this blindfold on again, tell me what you smell now. I can smell an orange, but that wasn't there that last time. I was... What do you feel now? I can breathe all the way up through my nose. It just it cleared me up. Boom. Dristan nasal spray just works incredibly fast. Dristan, the face of relief today. He started out writing soap operas. Ah, too corny. Now, he's actually living one. How would you feel? John Candy is delirious. I love this. Coming December 18th on video cassette and laser disc. This is insane. Absolutely insane. A new American cheese snack idea. Grill it up and slice it up so little fingers can pick it up. Cut it up, fun it up, guaranteed they'll eat it up. Mm. American cheese. Kids are up for it anytime. <clears throat> I love me. Thank you very much. Uh, now I'm going to have a peanut butter and nana sandwich. I wonder if he knows London Bridge is falling down. Yeah, and the girl from Ipanema. Okay, Valentine. Thank you. I call that the devil's tritone. People go crazy for it. Is this bugging you guys? I mean, just let me know if it's bugging you. It tends to annoy some people sometimes, and I find that I. I don't know. Is that bugging you? I said call it! Oh. Uh, I don't know that one, but this one's called Put a Sock in It. I think it's best if you both cool it. 
She's making me nervous with that kid Phil. Sit down. I mean, it's pretty and all, but quit it. Sit down. Hey, get that shotgun to sing a song. Uh, can the music? Can't music? No way. I'm an artist. I have values. With everyone. Thank you. Look, cats. Now that we got our arsenal, it's going to be Kicksville from here on out. I'm being transferred to Kicksville? Linda, Go give me those layouts you drew up. On the laser printer. Ouch. Howie, sting. That's oh. too tight. Hurt. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, excuse me. Don't I? Oh, there's Don Ho's jacket up there. Let's yeah. see. We hold these truths to... When you guys Wait, have been this taking right. in all that sack time in the afternoon? I've been taking a correspondence course. I've had a little actress here outperforming. She cased some pads that are filled with more bread than you ever dreamed existed. Whoa, that's a lot of slang for one sentence. You're out of sight, baby. Oh, well, you better put your real, bifocals in. Real righteous. <laughs> Banjo, I believe you're next. Ready? Wait your turn. Now, if my... Little flock will gather around. Show you the scene for tomorrow. Will I ever be as smart as that guy? I just don't think so. I don't think I'll do it. I, I made some bars, but I can't get the oven to preheat. Can you help me? He's out of sight, baby. He's okay. Why well, take a chance? He's in plain sight. I think. You're gonna him on away tomorrow. He's only the driver. Rod. Uh, Rod, uh, we need a few you, more uh, people nibbling on me here. Come on over. Go out and serenade the moon. Wear a necktie so I know it's you. What's the matter? Don't you trust me? Let's just say... No. no. Security precautions. Okay, security precautions. Give us another one. That's fun. Okay, it's your race. Mm -hmm. White Nazi race. Thank you. But if I'm going to be the driver, you're going to have to tell me what's happening. Well, there's a steering wheel and a pedal. Oh, would you just get out of here? Crazy, kooky head. <laughs> that square bugs me. He really bugs me. We're him, man. Let it out. Don't let him bug you, baby. Yeah. See, this shoulder is here for you. For a while. Eat. Eat fast. That's glass side and keep your eye on Which one? <laughs> On second thought, Linda, you go out and watch him. It won't be so obvious, baby. Just let me comb my hair, and I'll be on him like a bloodhound. Aqua Reaper! Hey, that's a pretty good Jay Gordon Liddy impression there. Hmm. Meanwhile, in Africa. Uh, let's see. If you are not wearing any underwear, smile. Yeah. S underwear? What? Note to myself, get new agents. Thank you. What's he going to do? I don't know. Fold it so no one can read it. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then, uh... Hmm? Oh, he's sending it by carrier vol. Uh -huh. I've hidden the note. We'll be back with Peekaboo Sighting Showcase, but first, <laughs> a little of her. <laughs> uh oh, uh, quick. Think fast. Oh, this will fool her. Yeah. <laughs> There's the signal now. Run and get the message. Oh, it might be dangerous. Ouch. Ooh, stingy. Mm -hmm. Ouch, too stingy. Mm -hmm. must go through a lot of pants. Ouch. Ouch. Hold it. Hold it, Bob. Hold now, what? Now hold it up to the light. It's like Rod's got company. 
Oh, uh, love me, Taylor, love me, sweet. Thank you very much. Uh, Elvis has left the theater. He's sending another message now. It's a musical message of love. <sighs> You're quite the troubadour, aren't you? Yeah, and I play guitar, too. <laughs> Just the roving minstrel at your service, my lady. Well, play on. Make that. What would you like to hear? Whatever strikes your fancy. Uh, personally, I like guys in clown well, suits. Oh, the Wango's a tango, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, nothing like a moonlit afternoon. Wow! Looks like Frank Sinatra's junior. Thank you, Brother Squirrel, for the horn. Special music by the Ant Farm Family Singers. Uh, good thing the Nelson Riddle gang is in the next cottage. Maybe I can kill him with a cigarette. Do some backup. <laughs> Take it, chipmunks. About your secret song. Uh, I hope this isn't a long song. Yeah. Because I've never kissed This is a cover of an old Christy Weasel song. New Christy Weasels? Yep. I thought it was Up With Weasels. Uh, you're talking to me? One night I will. My God, are you okay? Ooh, oh, little BJ Thomas there. Oh, a little flat there, squirrels. This must be the B side of the 45. Huh. Next. Thank you. We'll call you. You're out of sight, baby. Real righteous. What does that mean? I don't know. Thank you. I'm flattered. I think. Well, tell me something, Linda. Sure. What do you want to know? Does light stand still on the edge of the black hole? What's your game? Why do you hang around with guys like Jeter and Banjo for? Huh? They're the greatest. With them, everything's cool. Never a dull moment. Yeah, just what like the Algonquin round table. Every game except maybe 20 years. Hey, what are you looking for? The high living, the sports car, the... <laughs> You're not a very good judge of character, are you? Nope. You're square, baby. Mm -hmm. So square, you look like a box. Yeah, but there's a prize like inside. And sports oh. cars in my scene. Oh. Well, then why? The kicks, baby, the kicks. The cereal? Yeah, kids like Just kicks for what kicks has got. Now. Moms like kicks for what kicks is not. Oh. You're flirting with death. Speech, speech. You feel alive. You feel like, like it's great to be young, to be free. No ring on your finger, no home, no, no snotty nose brats. And you make it sound so Just good. Just you, alive. A bike and a robbery aren't the same thing. Oh, shut Look, up, shut up! You get your kicks from that guitar, from singing. Yeah, why? You used to get them from having 400 horses in front of you and death staring you in the face. Yeah, but that's when he was what in Ben-Hur. Still not the same thing. Oh, yes, it is. It's the same. When you look death in the face, whether it's from behind the wheel or looking at a policeman's or gun, in the it's mirror. all the same. I don't dig you. Do you dig this? Well, I don't know. Are you looking for trouble? Well, you won't find it in my dental work. Just for kicks. Silly rabbi, kicks are for trids. Is that the signal? Well, at least her three boyfriends aren't homicidal and looking for something like this. It tastes like wet leaves. Their love can be dry cleaned. Now, what do you mean by, mm? I'd like to ask her out, but I'm afraid of rejection. They're neat. Oh. What is all me? Huh? Banjo. 
No stiletto. Man, you're messing with private stuff. Okay, now what the hell did he say? I never, I haven't understood a word this guy said. No. Uh oh. Ooh, ooh, that had to hurt. Banjo. Banjo. You're just too high strung. Banjo and guitar together, and they're dueling. Face. Oh. Now the guitar's gonna beat the banjo every time. I think. Stop him! He's gonna kill him. Maybe that's a good thing. Hi, Tom Servo here with a Turkey Day fact here at Comedy Central. Hey, did you know that Puritans used to beat up Quakers? <laughs> it's true. Back after this. The Naked Gun 2 and a half is coming to your video store. Before you rent it, go with Comedy Central behind the scenes of this blockbuster comedy. Action! <laughs> you know, it's like great stuff. Step on it. Watch the documentary, then rent the movie. Impress your friends with your inside knowledge. Everyone kept telling, asking me if they knew how many olives I had. Did I actually eat these olives? The Naked Gun Two and a Half, looking down the barrel of comedy, premiering Friday, December sixth, here at Comedy Central. Sure, you had the easy life, utilities, railroads, but you blew it all, didn't you? It was just one game, Warden. But the name of the game is Don't go to jail. You gotta roll those dice, form as many groups as you can. But if you push your luck, go to jail. And roll go to jail, oh. you lose it all. I'll get another turn. Sure you will, man. Don't go to jail. The new Monopoly dice game for more Monopoly fun. Try advanced to boardwalk and free parking. This person has taken a cold medicine with an antihistamine that warned him of driving and drowsiness. But this person took Sudafed, the leading cold medicine that won't cause drowsiness. So you stay alert. Sudafed, fast relief, no drowsiness. And for your worst colds, try new Sudafed severe cold formula. Led Zeppelin is back. Jimmy Page has digitally remastered all the classic tracks from Led Zeppelin. And now, Time Warner can deliver the exclusive two-CD version of the Led Zeppelin remasters through this special TV offer. You'll get 26 songs, over two hours of classic rock and roll for four easy payments. And it's on sale now over the phone. You'll also get this free 30-minute interview with Jimmy Page, Robert Plant, and John Paul Jones. It's really seduced by rock and roll at an early age, that's for sure. This offer is not available in any store. Call now to get this exclusive TV offer. Two remastered CDs or cassettes, plus the free interviews delivered to your home. This offer won't last long, so write this number down and call now. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. They're rough. It's like banjo's a little out of tune there. Oh. Yeah, tell your friends. Oh, they're here. Yep. <laughs> eat it, boy, eat it. Cut your throat. Hey, cut! And bathe in my blood. Kill him, baby. Kill him. Kill him, Rob. He's a loser, baby. Guys, not worth killing. Not worth killing? Now, don't you ever say that. I assume we're getting up uh, early tomorrow. I think I'll call it a night. Or an afternoon or whatever. I can't tell by the light. <laughs> Here's your guitar. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I think I'm going to go write a song about this. What was that all about? Uh, he kicked my butt. Well, Weren't you there? there? Well, baby. Did you enjoy it? So you want me to vomit every time another man comes around? Well, Not you vomit. do when I come around. Don't mix business with pleasure. Oh, oh, you're supposed to be tough. Next time, act it. Oh, I hate getting notes right after the performance. Oh, okay, children. Got a busy day tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Yeah, come on. We got early mass. <laughs> do, do, do. Oh, the shame, the shame, oh, the pain and shame. I'm waking. Whoa, whoa. Meanwhile, Napoleon Solo is in Hungary. Open channel B. Well, I gotta shake the dew off the old helmet there. There. 
Thank you, magic night vision binoculars. Oh, I got a tinky. I got a... <clears throat> oh, I got to go see a man about a horse. Ugh, what a day. Beautiful. Ah, it's great. Look at that snag. It better lock up. A lot of creeps around here. <laughs> Thanks for the groovy charts, Mr. Squirrel, wherever you are. Yeah, you guys. I love this station wagon. Okay, now, everybody in? Buckle up. Crunch. Hey, how would you like someone putting a cigarette out on you? Killer's please, man. Figurines, the diet crunch. Hey, there's something about that guy that just screams, I'm not really a cop. Let's see what it says. It says, put me back, you idiot. Hmm. Me? Hey, I gotta go tell a tree. Three twelve to five oh seven. Three twelve to five oh seven. Uh, we were in the car the whole time. We weren't doing anything. I read you. Go ahead, Kick. Suspects just drove off from house in gray wagon. Yes, all thanks, Ben. We'll take it from here. Yeah. Okay, Charlie, let's go. Bye bye. Hey, but we're on break. Not anymore. All right, baby, here's the scene. As you can see, we're surrounded 35. by orange groves to the right, grapefruit groves to the left. Now, what does that spell? Fruit salad. <laughs> You're the riddler, what? <laughs> Money, baby, lots of bread. So what are we going to do, stop and pick an orange? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Cracks me out. You're really righteous, baby, really righteous. Yeah. I really dig him. So I crack the funny. And you've got a funny crack. Yeah. What's the plan? <laughs> well, Citrus Hill is this little set up, town you? about mm. 20 miles down the road. It has this little old bank that's just loaded with bread. Uh, All the bread I don't know, but I think you're talking about a bakery. A big and it's just waiting for the five of us to slice it up. Good job. Sounds easy. How do we work? Well, Linda Baby being the best little actress I know. Except for Street. Make everything easy for us. You wait in the car and be ready to move. We'll just go in and help ourselves to all of that wonderful way. There's something coming up behind us. That's the sun, you idiot. It happens every day at this time. Oh. Better play a cool rod and slow down and see if they pass us. It's Spiro it's Agno up, and yeah, Spiro Agno in spot. the parent trap. Go ahead and pass him. <laughs> Good one. Yes, sir. 507 to all units. Hmm. 507 to all units. Plan R, that is Plan Rigolo. Robin, is now in effect. That's our for rum. We're gonna moon them. Okay, drop trial there, Bob. Those guys mooned us. Smell like buzz. No, oh, that's just me. The first time in your right, Banjo, I think you're right. Looks like they're in a car wash. Sure, if it is the men, what do we do? <laughs> just play it cool, baby. Just play it cool. Yeah, hit the AC, we'll play it cool. For a while and see what happens. What do we do now, Lieutenant? We can enter a the biggest ear contest. In their position. He wins. Go ahead and turn off into that side road. We'll pick up some jams, jellies, some compotes. They look like they got some nice corn on the cob off this end. Of the Scones, cucumbers, crenshaws. Okay, now what? Uh, my guess is that the fuzz is staked out all along the main highway between here and Citrus, though. All, both of we them. We brought our position as we passed them. Look, can't you jump at the conclusions? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because two men passed us in a car. Whoa, 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 whoa. It doesn't mean we're being fouled. Oh, it's You'd just like a camera move. A trap, wouldn't you? For all we know, you may be working with the fuzz. Mm -hmm. Cool it, Banjo. Cool it. McGuire's been with us every minute of the time. How could he contact the cops by carrier pigeon? Uh, no, by carrier vole. What now, Daddy? This well, is a map of out. London. Hmm? We can't go cross country. And we can't go straight up. We Remember when we tried roads, that? We could only get to about maybe two miles of Citrusville. Then we'd be spotted. Hey, why don't you forget the bank? Yeah. Forget everything, man. Just yeah. Let's go home. You forgot the name of the game, Rod. What's that? It's kick. Oh, would oh, you shut on, up about the kick? Please. You didn't learn a thing last night, did you? Well, I did, but I don't think Dude, we can use it to rob a bank. Way, it was chicken. Through and through. No physical violence, please. Mental violence. Let's just be one big happy family. Yeah, the Mansons. Okay. <laughs> 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 
Huh? What is it, little fella? You're working on your doctorate over there? What, a train in Dead Rock Canyon? Huh? You finally figured out positive ion bonding. What you saying? The railroad tracks. Of course, the railroad tracks. We just yeah. simply follow the railroad, the railroad tracks in the citrus The railroad tracks. Move it. Hey, there's a highway right next to the railroad tracks. They'll never find them there. Hey, I hear a big, stupid ending coming, you guys. <laughs> Citrusville, city of progress, where everyone is juice. Citrusville, a great place to get some orange juice. Boy, you know, I bet they could score 80 to 100 bucks in this town. Yeah. At least they haven't uh, broken any traffic laws either. Yeah. That's good. Now, if they're able to pull out the robbery, uh, robbery and, and kill somebody, I hope they at least get gas money. <laughs> Let's, Let's go, go to, to Juice Land. Land. Let's go to Juice Land. Hey, look, you kids be quiet or I'm going to turn this car around. Okay, baby. Who wants it around the block? That'll give you time to look things over. Uh, I've just seen the whole town. You know, these guys just plain smell. B.O. Big time. Icky. Cute. Mm -hmm. Four, five dollars. You've broken the bank. Thank you. Okay, see you tomorrow. It's always a pleasure to do service with our largest depositor. Uh, Miss Hathaway, Mr. Drysdale's been looking for you. 486. 486, that's what they've got in the vault. Hey, that's what they're insured to. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Well, yes, I'd like uh, $500 in Oh, dream on, lady. Would you like them 10s, 20s, or 50s? Oh, 50s would be fine. With your blood on them. <laughs> hey, I found a five under this drawer. We can stay open. <laughs> Let's split, guys. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm your name and address. We're going to have to mail the money to you in six weeks. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I had no idea Gypsy had such a powerful brain. Mm -hmm. Running all the working functions of the satellite 11 and everything. I even found out she re-analogued my brain when I had that computer virus. Yep. Joel must have not told us for a reason. Mm. You know, it's funny how working outdoors makes you feel comfortable pondering such questions. Yeah, I was going to say how nice it was not always having to talk when we're together. Yeah, that's neat. Oh, here they come. Uh, Servo, do that cricket noise you do so well and I'll run lights, okay? Oh, okay. for fun, <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I know exactly how it is. You know, we're pretty much the same that way. You just got to let off steam sometimes, you know? This looks like a nice place to rest, doesn't it? It sure does, Joel. Yeah. You know? Joel, but, I feel so special. Uh-huh, good, oh, okay. Hey, uh, Cambot, I hope you're getting this. We don't want to use this in Gypsy Scrapbook later. <gasps> anyway, I'm um, just a wandering minstrel at your service, my lady. I'll play on my leash. I know what I like, and I like what I know, because I know. You know, I feel kind of like uh, Mac Davis on The Muppet Show. I know all your ways, My ways. and your ways please me so. so, so. Cause I like what I know about you. Man, you messing with private stock. Let's get him! Get him! I'm in it for the kicks! Hey, hope you're enjoying Wild Rebels here at Turkey Day at Comedy Central. Join us and do the Alamo! We're in it for the kicks, man. Critics love Doc Hollywood, and so will you. Two big thumbs up. Michael J. Fox gives an absolutely winning comic performance. And it was the best romantic comedy of the summer. Michael J. Fox is Doc Hollywood. Look for it at your video store.
The adult world is designed to keep us moving. And while this may make us more efficient, it's not exactly a party. Luckily, technology has produced a cure. It's called a Game Boy, the personal game-playing system from Nintendo, with lots of sports, action, and puzzle games to choose from. And it comes with a puzzle game Tetris. It could change your outlook. I'm sorry, sir. Your flight's been delayed. Cool. Game Boy by Nintendo. Have you had your fun today? The first time I switched pain relievers, it was from aspirin to Tylenol. Then recently, I switched again from Tylenol acetaminophen to Advil. You see, I got these really pounding headaches, and I found Tylenol didn't always get rid of all the pain. So I tried Advil and found that for my really tough headaches, two Advil worked better than two extra strength Tylenol tablets, better than extra strength Tylenol caplets, better than Tylenol gel caps. For my tough headaches, Advil just works better. Advil, advanced medicine for pain. Well, I'm glad we cheered her up anyway. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sorry about beating you up and all. Yeah, it's okay. You guys look cute in those outfits. Oh. Wait, what? She's gonna hold the place up with a syringe? Anybody move? I get high. Oh, look, it's Scruffy, the lovable cop clown. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Jimmy hat. Oh. Okay, baby. Everything's set. Let's move it. Uh, he must be psychic. The guard's out of the way. What do you mean? He's in the middle of the floor. Oh, I can't move. Get out of there. Move it back. You, Bobby, over here. What, is he speaking in Sanskrit? Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. Slow down. It's code. I want firm tummies and a nice straight dance line. Come on. Oh, great. There's stamps and some paper clips and Garfield sticker and hey, grab that statue that's his world's greatest grandma. Hey, look, ten dollars. Hey, we're set for the rest of our lives unless we want to buy a 12 pack or something. Hey, they play the ventures at this bank. Oh, they got everything. Stadium blanket, calendar, Lincoln coin bank. Look mm. at <laughs> the bank sign. It's printed with electrician's tape on ceiling tile. <laughs> They're gonna grow in a Van Dyke, what do you think? Huh? Did you see Cop Rock last night? It sucked. Hmm. Now, if I could just remember my Aldous code from the Navy. Hey, these are the lights. What about them? Hmm. Whoa. They're bright. Hey, man, he's doing Aldous code. Help, 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 help. Looks like he's trying to signal us. Oh, no, he's just testing his lights. Let's go dug a couple of spud nuts, eh, Phil? Hey, is that their car? Sounds like they've got to tap it loose. Yeah. Much oh, better. Yeah, what's all this, then? I mean, what's going on here, boy? Well, son, what's the lights for? Uh, illuminating the road after dark, sir? Three men and a girl robbing that bank. And, and a, a baby. baby. Gina, it's the Gestapo, and we're talking to Rob. Let's play. Well, you're the Gestapo. Linda, fast, stand up. Oh, let's go. This better not be a joke. Leave well, it is a joke, city. but it's still true. Straight foot, kid. Here we go. Hmm. Whoa, that's a nice wide spread. He must have had a minified choke on that. Hmm. That's what you said a couple of the fuzz. Huh? What? Oh. Hold it, creep. I'll blow your brains out. Yeah. Come on. Oh. Linda, hurry up. Whoa. In these heels, are you crazy? <laughs> okay, oh. coming, boss. Nice tag. <laughs> oh, school's out. Recess, everybody. Okay, now, we all hey, saw the Bridge of Bruder film. You be Kennedy. <laughs> you signal the man. Let's get a car. Hmm? Now you get a car! What? Nah, that wasn't a very nice thing to do. If Banjo's telling the truth, why don't we just dump him now? Because this creep is going to get us away from little men. Mm. He's going to drive the race of his life. Put your foot through the floorboard, man. Move it. I said move it. But remember your seatbelt. Check your deal. blind spot. Three-point check. That's better. Thank no, you. not this way, man. My mom will see me. Oh. Come on, man. Earn your money. Faster. Faster. Oh. Oh, you poor officer. Oh, can I get you a donut? 
Oh, your Tell knee me my on my chest. I'm sorry, but you're dead. No, no, no. Hmm. Poor guy. Yeah. Mayday! Mayday! He used to be a pilot. I used too much Four rouge. Girl. Just robbed oh. the citrus mill bank. 507 to all units. 507 to all units. Whatever your location, proceed to roadblock stations around Citrusville. Uh, we are all a unit, proceed sir. Proceed to roadblock stations around Citrusville. <laughs> They're going to put the squeeze on him in Citrusville. <laughs> Nelson Riddle and his orchestra. Squeeze on him. Yeah, we got to throw. <laughs> What's uh, Citrusville famous for, you suppose? Uh, probably dairy products. I, well, huh? Yeah. Police cars, courtesy of Grandma. You're doing great, baby. Hey, don't call me that at work. Hey, that looks like the car. <laughs> no, could be. They're miles ready. away. Here they come. Oh, no. Ah! Oh. That'll teach them. Whoa. Oh. oh, Calgon, take me away. I got one in my hand. Yeah, man. Stupid old bong. I love it. Another one for me. You know, this really is kind of fun. <laughs> I'm having a really good time. Yeah. I'll get it clean, it, Bob. Stay there. Officer down. Officer down. I need bear claws. I mean, uh, back up. Send a this jelly donut. I, I mean, send help. Gang headed east on Old Citrus Road. Just kill my partner. And I'm all busted I'm up in inside. Pursuit. Over. Here comes the fuzz! Here, Here comes, comes the fuzz! Here comes the fuzz! Here comes the fuzz! He's doing really well. Yeah, this is the longest he's driven without rolling and burning. <laughs> Another roadblock! Drive through it, man. Drive through it! Yeah. Whoa! Oh, you know, we really should have blocked the other road, too. What were we thinking? <laughs> roadblock detour. Yeah, that, down the yellow brick road, man! <laughs> yeah, I guess we're not in Kansas anymore, oh, dude! Baby. Who killed Dorothy? Well, that's kind of like closing the barn door after the cows are out. Come on, dummy. Uh, signal your turn, please. Uh, oh well. What's he gonna do, shoot at oranges? Looks like it. Oh, now, that's a fire siren. Come on. I'm huge. I'm immense. Hey, look, Eric Estrada. Slow him down, Banjo. Two barrels for Banjo coming up. Say two barrels for Banjo? Bedtime for Banjo? Would you get your arms and legs inside this car, please? How am I doing it? I don't know. Wee, man, we were rolling. You want to get huh? some wagons and some rolls and some reason rides? <laughs> <laughs> Every day. I'm oh, huge. my love away. By this time, the old Duke boys had killed just about every cop in town. Mm -hmm. Daisy had slipped into something comfortable. Oh, it's a squealing swamp. Oh, there's the exploding bush. <laughs> Earn your money. Dry, baby, dry. What do you think I'm doing? Oh, look, I'm cranky and hungry. I'm sorry. Back into the squealing swamp. So this is the point where the director said, use everything we shot. What's wrong with the car? Who's talking? Oh, they must have hit the gas tank. Who's talking? I don't know. Hey, see the lighthouse? Stop it. Lighthouse? They're in the woods. We're going down. We've lost an engine. Lighthouse? Oh, it's for Winnebago's. Mm. Yeah, well, it's up to the Navy now. It's out of our jurisdiction. Oh. Come on, baby. Let's no, it's too close. Mm. Stop calling me, baby. Oh, great hideout. If they have to spend any time there, they can eat the bricks, I guess. <laughs> oh, look, they're in a Nautilus, you guys. It's like the time tunnel. Don't shoot the car, we need that. Oh, sorry, I accidentally shot a cat, sorry. Load it up, it's just like shooting in I think it's fish in a barrel, but I know what you mean, and you'll know what we mean after this. Hi, this is Joel Robinson on Satellite of Love. It's Turkey Day at Comedy Central. This is a turkey baster 
Everything is permitted within the boundaries of Thanksgiving. One stuffy nose, one sore throat, one bad cough. <coughs> one place to go, the halls of medicine, where you'll find the vapor action formula of Hall's Mentholiptus, real medicine to make you feel better fast. Why go anywhere but the halls of medicine? It's starting to move. You have to be quiet. Wait a second. It's spelling something. This is too weird. Double, double your refreshment. Double, double your enjoyment. Oh, no, single gum. Double freshens your mouth like double mint. Double mint gum. Double, double your refreshment. Well, the whole process starts in the writing room, <laughs> where a team of writers get together and look at a film. Oh God, he's peeing himself. Uh, we look at it. We got somebody sitting at a computer, quite a good typist, because she has to keep up with us as we shoot these jokes out. <laughs> and then the second day we write the host segments, which are kind of based on things in the movies that we could elaborate on. I want to decide who lives and who dies. Whoa. Oh, I don't think so. No. The third day, we go back at the movie with the home writer scripts, and we revise it. Fourth day is a prop day. Fifth day is a rehearsal. Sixth day is the host segment day. I'll have to smash your kneecaps if you bastards touch my car. Seventh day is the movie day. Eighth day is review. And then we start over again. For the glory of the SLA, Tanya. I just got a thing about girls with guns. I don't know. Yeah. Hi. Right. Here you go, Hoss. Nice shooting, little Joe. Oh. oh my hair stuck. Oh, oh. I'm old enough to drive and drink, but not be in a war. What do you think? Hey, it's Diana Rigg. Join us. Getting enough kicks now, baby? Yeah. If you got something to say, say it. You killed a tree, Banjo. Oh, 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 excuse me. I got me one. I got me a man. I'm happy for you. Now go shoot cops. What a dance move, man. Oh, my head's trying to blow up. I can't make a man. I can't make a man. He's wigging. Yep. Banjo, don't be a hero. Come back, Banjo. Ooh. Ouch. Gun. Come on, that's coming. Now, wait a minute. Banjo's about two feet away from, look at that, two feet away from the cops. Rhyming. Uh -huh. over there. Yeah. Whoa. Uh oh. That's pretty good with a shotgun at that distance. Must be using a full choke. The lousy men got him. They got Banjo. They torched his bike, too. Grab the rifle. Go upstairs as fast as you can. See if you can pick any of them off from upstairs. Okay. I'll be running up there now. Long way up. Oh, they got my foot, Charlie. They got my foot. Hey, it's a double helix. <laughs> Thank you for the cricket, Watson, Joe. 
You know, he's kind of an easy target, fat, drunk, and stupid. I wonder... Mm. He could never hit him, though. One if by land, two if by stupid. wanted that cool lid. Philip Glass music. Cool. Oh, I always thought only the good died young. Live fast, die young, and leave a fat, bloated, ugly corpse. <laughs> uh, here we go again with him. Uh-oh. Max! Max, come your way! Kill him! Kill him! Hand your shotgun! Quick. Yep. Oh, I gotta quit smoking. Now, no, 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 wait a minute. Just, just wait a minute here. I, I, I will kill you. I'm getting dizzy. Yeah, me too. Not completely fair. Uh-uh. Hey, Mister, can you help me? I can I need some. Uh you know, in a more expensive movie, they would have tossed him over, or at least used him as a shield or something. <laughs> Still with pets. Hmm. He's upstairs. Thanks, Fats. You know you're smarter, dead. Hey, Johnny Cash. Kill, 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 die, die, die. When will it end? I don't know. Oh, man, you got my windbreaker. This is a members only, too. It's not cheap. Oh, I'm no good at anything. I'm terrible. I can't drive, can't shoot. What the hell am I good at? Oh, jeepers, I'll never get in another Poor movie. Guy. Mm -hmm. At least the music's gone. Ow! It's what leaning. Is it brought? What? Uh-oh. Yeah, he's getting serious. He took his sunglasses off. Whoa! Sir, oh, save yourself! Get out of the way! <laughs> See you later. Alligator. Not. Huh? Oh, tubes. Oh, he's all bendy and floppy and stuff. Well, that was kind of neat. <laughs> Sorry. Heavy. Yeah, it kind of looks like the beginning of a Bond film, doesn't it? Yeah. Hey, there's the girl with the golden gun. Yep. <laughs> oh. Hmm. It's been a big day. I'm just not having a good week. Here, a gift for you. I didn't get you Thanks, anything. Man. Maybe. They're not for trids. Kicks. It was the wildest. Kicks just keep getting harder to find. Uh, oh, you still taste like fatty, don't you, Brush? Oh, she's crying. Hmm. Charlie, go on up and check Fats. Take her away, bud. Are there kicks in prison, honey? I'm here, Bob. Here we go. Oh, you know, I love that song. And I like your Walston Perino suit, too. Me so. Hey, it's God Cam. Hmm. What I know about you. I see. her in all her murderous ways. She was neat. In a sick sort of way. Well, Rod, 13 dead cops, six dead innocent bystanders, a couple of dead bikers. Good work. I'd like to have you on my team again sometime. What do you think? Uh, signal the God can. Cause I get a kick on a... Oh, wrong song, sorry. <laughs> Louis, this could be the start of a beautiful friendship. 
Man, when you were trying to signal me, that was so funny. I thought you were kissing the girl. I thought that was the sign, oh boy. Well, we can laugh about it now, but well, what you doing now? Hmm. Do you live alone? Would you like to? I've had enough. Let's get out of here. Let's really go. Yeah. Come on. Oh, it was <clears throat> you're getting heavy, you know that? Whoa, no. You know, guys, I feel great. I'm flying high. Huh? Joel, how can you feel good after that kidney stone of a movie? Uh... Huh? Yeah, I'm downright depressed. If I had wrists, I'd contemplate slitting them right now. What? Huh? This movie it was like spending the weekend with your dentist. Uh... Oh, you guys, listen, you, you got to take it easier. It's just huh? a movie. Yes, it was like being pulled through a dark, tarry abyss, but it's only a movie. You got to use your intelligence to abstract yourself from the pain, you know, like... Yeah, the writer was only interested in shallow stereotypes of mid-60s sociopaths. You just got to deal with it. Oh, I see. The villains were so cliched, they were laughable. <laughs> right, that's it exactly. Oh, yeah. and a hero is such a wimp, his only heroic act was to flash his headlights. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys, keep in mind, this is during the Otto Preminger, you know, time of film, you know, like a... Anti-hero, uh, plots that didn't go anywhere, that kind oh, of thing. So the hero was supposed to be unattractive and spineless. Exactly. Now it. you're surfing on my wave. Take it, Tom Servo. Oh, um, well, even though this was one of the ugliest extended families in movie history, they drove one of the finest station wagons on the market. <laughs> hey, that was hysterical. <laughs> you know, you're right, Joel. Looking at the movie your way makes me feel great. Yeah, I really like this wild rebel thing. <laughs> What the hell is going on up there? Really, I thought this film was supposed to be an emotional kneecapping for you guys. <laughs> oh, I don't believe it, Frank. This film had absolutely nothing going for it. An ugly cast and an ugly script doing really stupid... Uh... <laughs> I mean, wait a minute. Think about it, though. The Citrusville National Bank, the hypodermic needle, putting the guard out. I mean, it was so stupid. It was kind of funny. It had wit. It had charm. It was quirky. It was offbeat. I'm going to give this one my highest rating, five skulls. Woo! I really oh. thought we had you this time, Jolie. Don't you have a letter to read or something? <laughs> All right, all right, okay, back it off, you guys. Cut it out. Cut the music. All right, all right. It's time. We gotta read a letter, you guys. Oh, here. Okay. Great. Yeah, this is an interesting one. Um, it says, dear Joel, I am in fact a scientist. Oh, excuse me. I am a PhD immunologist. I work at the Pittsburgh Cancer Institute and study natural killer cells. What a great term. That would be in a science fiction movie. Show. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps my background gives me a particular framework, but I am a devoted MST3000 fan. Oh, the letters you read each week are still from children. I guess a letter from a 30-year-old scientist without any drawings doesn't have a prayer in making it on the air. So perhaps I, I should come up with a drawing. That's from a Rebecca P. Shell, Ph.D. Oh, hey, hey. And here's the drawing, the drawing cool. right there. Let's get that on still store there, Canva. Not bad for a 30 It says, old, huh? who yeah. will win, the natural killer cell or Tom Servo? Oh, hey, no give us some more of... music there, Canva. Right. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll see you later. We're having a great time. Wish you were here, scientists. <laughs> no, 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 no. You win this time. As for me, I've got to put Frank down for the night. Until next time. Sixteen hours into the Mystery Science Theater 3000 Turkey Day Marathon, and I've got a thirst for some human growth hormone. Lucky for me, Mystery Science Theater 3000 is on the case with The Amazing Colossal Man, next, here at Comedy Central, the only all-comedy network.
sinus pain? Oh, it hurts really bad. Look, all these sinus pain formulas have the same medicine. Is that right? But Dristan Sinus contains ibuprofen. Great. Oh, I feel so much better. Dristan Sinus. Dristan, the face of relief today.